All right, so you're probably reading this title and you're like, yo, Merly, what are you talking about? Now, if you don't know, for the part two of the Liz anniversary on JP, we are getting a Brunhill. Now, a lot of people will probably question this, like, why are we getting a Brunhill and not a 7 to the Sins character? Uh, and the Brunhill doesn't seem that bad. Like, she seemed like an okay type of unit. It's going to be like a 600 gem banner. But you probably want to know why did I say we probably going to get another anniversary coming soon. Now, if you don't know, last year we had Fergus A. Bond, which was like one of the best anniversary banner we ever seen. Like, it had the fever event and all that good stuff. And there was also hype built around that anniversary for that month. It was that Neymar was about to do something special with Grand Cross. You know, a special little thing that no one would ever done before. And that th that day, it was Ragnarok. Now, if you look at the past banners, you can probably see, um, if you go all the way to, what is it, June? Uh, you can see June 24th, the Lost Vein, Meliodas, Seeger, Dolinar. Oh my God, I clicked off. Um, and it was happening. Oh my God, I clicked right off of it. Okay, there we go. And it happened, you know, June 24th and July 8th. Ragnarok chapter one. So this is going to be our anniversary right here. June 24th for Ragnarok. Now, I don't know if they're going to do anything special for Ragnarok. Because if you don't know, all right, the demonic deer relics are basically done. All right, we are in need of another demonic beast. I think the I think the demonic deer is like literally drained to the core. All right. Because if you don't know, um, let's go back to GC database real quick. Um, I'm pretty sure it shows down below. But yeah, we are getting new relics. Oh my god, I think actually I skipped it, didn't I? Yeah, right here. We get new relics for Princess Elizabeth and Ellie Hawk, which are like the last two for goddesses characters. Um, uh, which means only thing we missing on a deer is like fairies, which is going to be based Elaine and also uh, Gloxenia, which I guess that's okay. And they're also about to have like an event that's coming. I don't know if GC database posted it, but it's supposed to be like a double event for the bird. So you can basically get like double the amount of uh, resources on a bird. So it's going to be the best time to farm. Now, I don't think she put it on here, but yeah, it's going to be a double event um for the bird which is gonna be really really good because that means you can get double the amount of rent win resources and that means you can farm up a lot of holy relics for the bird that's that's where i'm gonna be making streams about but i just want to know what you guys um again ragnarok anniversary is coming soon i'm pretty sure the banner is going to end at the same time let me see let me go to let me go to grand cross real quick let me check the banner uh, this in it on the 30th. This is going to be in it on the 30th. So the next, and I'm pretty sure, um, they're probably going to make the burn hill in at the 30th too. So they both be at the same time, which means guys, we are going to be expecting an anniversary Ragnarok character on 630, most likely. And I want you guys to comment down below. What do you think is going to be a Ragnarok anniversary? If you don't know, it's going to be Norse mythology. Uh, some people was like, yo, I, I think we're going to get like, um, throwing our blonde hair where she has the Thor hammer, uh, cause we still haven't gotten that yet. All we have is throwing our base form. Um, well, let me look at some other characters. Like, I think I, I took some screenshots real quick. Took some screenshot, screenshots of some possible characters and some memes. Like I said, this is, I was like, yo, Grand Cross would probably make these two like anniversary cause they just love their waifus. Like these two was in like the recent chapter. I was like, yo, they probably gonna do these. Uh, cause you know, Grand Cross knows what the hype was what the hype around, you know? Um I said maybe this guy is supposed to be like Odin. Uh, he seemed like a cool character to have for anniversary, you know. Uh I said the main character as well, Fenrir. Because we still haven't got this man as a unit. Uh he's like part werewolf and I think he can transform, but I don't think he does this in the story yet. So I feel like maybe he could be an anniversary unit because uh, he pretty much is the protagonist. Uh, it's pretty much about him most of the time. You know, 70 Days Sins usually take up a lot of the time, but it's, it's about him, all right? He, he's cool, all right? He's best boy. Uh, uh, What's this man named? Like Tyre? Tyre or something like that? 
Tyree, uh, Tyler, let's call him Tyler. All right, Tyler, Tyler is cool as well. You know, he's the flame, flame poppy. Uh, he has a cool design. Uh, I feel like he would probably be like a Keo character, right? He'd be like the 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 uh, non collab Keo, because Grandrods love to give people the same passives and just make it better a little bit. They just add like an extra sentence to it. Uh, I said she could also be a possibility. Um, I think they also have, her, yeah, they have our model already. So they could do her. I forget what she does. Like I played, I, I played JP, so I don't be knowing what they be saying. Uh, I think she got like telepathy, like she's psychic or something like that. I think so. I don't know what she will do as an attack, but um, yeah, she she's there. So yeah, they are probably gonna release another Ragnarok character. It's gonna be something. Hopefully hype. Uh, again, Grand Cross don't know what is hype sometimes. And there's also that one possibility, guys. There's this, this one slim copium possibility that we may get a new demonic beast for either the giants or um, the demons. Now, I'm hoping that it'll be for the demons because demons have been like a freaking stepping stone all of pvp lately or, or pve as well sometimes the only thing that's holding that's given like demons a good name in pve is like trading meliotis because this man is a god but demons has just been walked all over in pvp and pve content lately uh just because you know i think it was like only one time of my life of playing pvp that uh demons was on top like a summer meliotis wasn't even that good unless it was like 4v4 content now he just trashing everything but this man needs his holy relic all right what do you think his holy relic would be what, how would you buff meliotis would you change his um card multiplier would you make it have a like additional effect on there but what would you do to make this meliotis just good because uh, i'm not gonna lie i love i love a sub on meliotis i i will on him more than i did on escanor because i thought he'll be on top i thought they would go like at that time I'm, I'm not gonna lie i was on like copia i was like yo that marble will definitely make demons more meta than anything else in this game and it seemed like they never really buffed up demons at all and it made me like so upset like we got the units like Melascula. uh yeah we need counter meliotis with a holy relic oh my god come on now counter meliotis without a holy relic so, it'll be godly in pv uh who, who are who else is some demons um, you got Henderson, cool, cool character. Uh, you got Darieri, man, man, Esterosa, bruh. The demons will be on fire. Like, that's what I need, boy. I, I just need demons to be at least be on par with meta units, right? Again, I mean, uh, I mean, they could give like relics to giants as well with the next demonic deer, uh, not deer, beast as well. Um, but. I'm pretty sure there's a lot of demonic beasts on here. I don't think I got the image though. Uh, I think it's in the background of the creature nest thing. Wait, does it pop up right here? Uh -uh. Oh yeah, it's like right here. Um, this is like a deer, uh, a fox, a dragon, and the birds somewhere around here. I think it's like four of them, four or five that I can name right now. But yeah, what do you think is gonna be like the demonic beast? Do you think it's gonna be like the dragon? Do you think it's gonna be a fox? Uh, because we are missing demons and giants. Uh, giants don't really have that many characters, so I feel like they'll probably go the demon way just because they have a lot of, to work with. But that's just my opinion. It's my opinion, you know. I think that, yeah, I think those are the only two races that don't really have anything. What? what? So that would be hype, you know. Uh, again, characters would be hype to have. Uh, imagine trading Meliodas with a holy relic, bro. Dude, this man be godly in PP. All right, best Z tier. All right, Z Z Z tier all day long. Once he gets his holy relic. Um. Oh wait, Best King doesn't have his holy relic as well. Oh my God, how did I forget that man? Yeah, Best King doesn't have his holy relic as well. Um, but he's one of the other fairies don't have it. Oh my God. It's just that I don't see Fest King like that in PP lately. Uh, <laughs> I do not see um the um Chad Fest King in PP. I think I seen that man one time, and that was like my last video where the person had Keo Fest King, and then he quit like in in a minute. 
He quit like a minute. Yeah, he can have a holy relic as well. Uh, Oat Rush kind of like beats this man out lately in BVP. And actually, not even Oat Rush. He's just, um, man, it's just red time yell links, bro. He really benefits off of hitting twice for his passive. And if you're not able to kill him off, bro, the king just is useless afterwards. Like, he usually be your only DPS in terms of damage. And he, he's pretty much your crutch out of everything, bro. So, you know, you have to either hope that they don't have real time your link or hope that you can nuke in like two hits, which means you're probably gonna need a gold card or the CL. And I feel like this man has been really lacking BP, so he needs a holy relic as well. Maybe he'll be getting it soon. But yeah, new demonic beast, uh, uh anniversary for Ragnarok coming soon. Uh, what do you guys think is gonna be the next character for Ragnarok anniversary? Um, pretty, pretty psyched and happy. It's gonna have a lot of events for um this month. You know, a lot, a lot more hype stuff, a lot more hot stuff. So yeah, guys, this is really guys, and I'm out. Peace. All right, I'm not gonna lie, I was gonna end this video, but ah, something came over me, man. I just have to say this uh with my my full heart after after like getting confirmation about this. I have to say, when I was talking about some some anniversary characters that I would love to see for Ragnarok. I had posted on a discord the leak sds leaks i was like yo it'd be cool if they had like all these waifus for a meme and i did show you guys the two goddesses which uh let me pull up i showed i showed the two goddesses right here um but it was another person that i had put and i said they, they was a waifu and that is this person right here all right yeah this person is actually a character in ragnarok if you didn't skip skip the freaking story uh, and I thought this was a female. It, it, and a lot of people just been telling me like, "Yo, this is a guy." Now I'm I'm right. I'm about to tell you guys right now. Right, this guy is better than most of the Grand Cross characters combined. Right, it, it, this dude is like, he is hot. All right, he he is sexy, uh, cute. And I didn't even know he's a he was male. All right, he, uh, like, like, are we serious? Maybe because of his eyes, right? Maybe it's because of his eyes. The way it's like, man, he looks so good. Like, I did not, I did not notice. But he, I'm not, I'm not gonna lie. You can, you guys can clip this all you want, but this man is cute. Can't even cap. Like, let me put, wait, let me see. Let me pull up his story, Bruh. I'm telling you, man, this man, he just bad. All right, I think it was like 87. Yeah, it's 87. So we gonna pull this up. I'm sorry. He just he's look he looked better than most Grand Cross characters, females, not even characters, females. All right, I gotta skip through all this. If you press skip, you're gonna skip through the um the cutscene as well. I have to click through all that. All right, here we go. God dang. I just had to add this in. Okay, you got the two goddesses, waifus, and stuff all in there. This man is tall as ever, bro. This man is like seven foot. God dang, he must be born born height. Holy, here we go. Here, here we go. Oh, this kid. Oh my God, look at the flatness. Oh my God, Kyle Lowry, is that you? Golly, Kyle Lowry, is that you? Hold up. God, okay, man. This man has so much drip, bro. I'm not gonna lie, bro. The drip on this man is just too good. I like I would not expect this man to be um a, a man. But it, but he got drip. I think people are trolling me, right? They gotta be trolling me. That man got drip. Holy. I don't know if you can hear his voice. Uh this man sound like he has a I think he has a feminine voice on JP. I don't know if on global they have like English voices. I'm pretty feminine. Yeah. Now that I'm re-listening in, it's not like a guy. Yeah, it's not like a guy. Why, why did I think he sound like a, fe a, a female? But he got that drip. Oh my God. But yeah, that's all I wanted to talk about. Uh, and since I, I, I will gladly say he looks better than most females in Grand Cross. 
All right. Now, I thought he was a female. I was like, yo, has Grand Cross finally been culture and not give us a freaking big booba a female every 30, 30 times? They finally switched it up. But nah, they they tricked me. All right. It's a it's just a it's a haku. All right. It's a freaking uh, in Inosuke. All right. It's just a it's just a beautiful guy. They tricked me. And yeah, guys, that's all I had to say.